A new memoir offers a devastating critique of President Obama, his top aides, and Congress. It comes from Robert Gates, a Republican who served eight presidents, also served as defense secretary in the Obama and George W. Bush administrations. Jan Crawford is in Washington. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora. Charlie, you know, this book started to leak out yesterday, and what we've seen so far, I, it's set off shockwaves through Washington. I, this is really unlike anything that we've seen from a top former senior official. And it's hard to say what the headlines are because there's just so many, but the president, the vice president, the foreign policy team, all of that coming under some sharp criticism. In the fall of 2009, after running a presidential campaign supporting the war in Afghanistan, the president assured the American people it was the right thing. This is not a war of choice. This is a war of necessity. But despite authorizing a surge in troops, the president was skeptical of the strategy and his former defense secretary says quickly lost faith in the effort. In his new book, Robert Gates writes, the president doesn't believe in his own strategy and doesn't consider the war to be his. For him, it's all about getting out. Gates praises President Obama as a man of personal integrity. In a 2012 interview, Gates talked with Charlie Rose about how the president makes decisions. I think President Obama goes out of his way to make sure he hears from everybody. He'll not only go around the table in the Situation Room, he'll go around the back bench to hear from the sort of second and third tier officials. But in the book, Gay says White House staff exerted too much power, especially top national security aides, calling them the most controlling I had seen since Richard Nixon and Henry Kissinger. He's even tougher on Vice President Joe Biden. I think he has been wrong on nearly every major foreign policy and national security issue over the past four decades. Gates has praise for then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who he describes as smart, idealistic, but pragmatic, tough-minded, funny. But Gates also talks about how Clinton, like the president, made decisions with politics in mind. He writes, Hillary told the president that her opposition to the 2007 surge in Iraq had been political because she was facing him in the Iowa primary. The president conceded that opposition to the Iraq surge had been political. Gates goes on to say that hearing the two admitting this in front of me was as surprising as dismaying. But Gates saves his sharpest criticism for Congress. He calls the majority of members uncivil, incompetent, egotistical, thin-skinned, writing that when they went before cameras, it had the effect of a full moon on a werewolf. Now, showing how much respect Gates commands the administration, I mean, obviously, is taking this seriously. Immediately yesterday, released a statement defending the vice president, saying Joe Biden has been one of the leading statesmen of his time and has helped advance America's leadership and the world. And then on the president's schedule that was released last night, the White House made a point of including Biden in almost all the president's meetings today, Charlie and Nora, including lunch. Jan, thank you.